Told y'all I had more bangers coming, man. Same, same outfit. Same day. Literally just recorded a video. We back at it again. Let's go. Whoa, what's happening, everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Y'all already know what it is. I'm back with another banger. Yes, I am. And I'm saying more Teladiga content, man. This is Demon and Bamron playing No Idea. I don't know who this is by, so drop it down in the comments, man. And also, man, we're on the road to a thousand, man, a thousand subs. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the goddamn bell. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm about, I might start doing live um postings of the videos let me know if y'all want that you know what i'm saying so we can be live and just chat it up in the comments of what y'all think about this stuff so we can go back and forth maybe debate you know what i'm saying i want to see y'all debate in the comments so let me know if y'all want these to be like you know what i'm saying uh what do they call premieres let me know if y'all want premieres man if y'all want premieres drop that down in the comments below man i'm all for it i'm all with it you know what i'm saying so yeah man let's just get into it man no idea in the band room band room exclusive uh, brought to us by Killer Kev. Shout out to Killer Kev, man. Y'all go ahead and go subscribe to Killer Kev if it wasn't for him. A lot of people wouldn't be doing YouTube right now with these reaction videos. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Killer Kev. My hat goes off to you. I had uh, the pleasure of meeting that, that cat. A phenomenal mellophone player. So, yeah. Tip my hats off to him. Let's get into the video, man. We about to screen record right now. And here we go. Let's see what we got, man. New music. You see this? New music. I'm not being petty. I swear to God. I, I promise. I'm not. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Oh, yeah. They look pretty big. Inside the barrel. Huh? That ain't no small building either. Either that or this got their chair spaced out. That boy Adrian swimming. God damn. I'm trying to get my head like that. <laughs> Fuck. I think I know the song. Yeah, I do know this song. Okay. Okay. Okay, to record. Okay, that middle part was cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the middle part is nice. Look at the two was what? That's that country shit. Okay. Okay, stick on. That's a fire drill. Okay. That drum is with the stick on. The stick whip. Okay. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. 
I ain't mad at it at all. It's a nice little, nice little arrangement, man. I'm not mad at that. Can't tell the digger. That's one of the, I like that song. I actually like that song. I, I said somebody should have played it. There go Diga playing it. Good job. Good job. But uh, yeah, man, um, that was a good arrangement. I liked it. It was a little, a little slow. I feel like the pace could have been a little bit faster. I don't want it. You don't want it too fast because you still want to have that pocket groove. You want to have that like. So a little bit of speed on it would be nice. But other than that, dog, I think it's a fire arrangement. Um, another thing I would say is doing that little middle part. The middle part that they play, it does get a little muddy. I guess because the parts are a little bit all over the place for me. Um, but yeah, other than that, bro, it's a it's a, it's a nice arrangement. Diga made it sound good. I like the uh the musicality of it. I like all the chords, uh all of the it's really dark, which is Diga's sound. They have a really dark sound. I honestly like it because a lot of bands tend to have a lighter sound, so their parts can sound higher, and they usually chord people together. But yeah, man, I, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like the way it's structured. Like I said, a little bit more speed on the tempo for me. But other than that, man, good arrangement. Great job of uh, Adrian if you wrote that. Shouts out to you, man. That's a fire arrangement. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with it. Um, yeah, like I said, like I said in the last video, everybody's in the pocket, popping out when they need to pop out. They're not doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Mellows are in the pocket, but popping out when they need to. B tones are doing their thing. Hold it down those words. Trombones are sexy on the words. I like that. They were really, really sexy on the words. I like that. So, yeah, man. It, trumpets were holding it down. They were in the pocket, but they, you know, they played out when they needed to. When all over the place, you wasn't having people like screaming for no fucking reason and doing their own thing. They really getting this band structured together. And, they, and I'm going to be honest with you, they sound a lot more structured than when I was there. Yeah, like when I was there, it was some, it was some nigga shit going on. <laughs> like it was a lot of we was we was on one, but in terms of cleanliness, I think this is the cleanest sounding Diga band. This one, and it was another band. I can't remember what year, but as time is progressing, they're cleaning this band up, and I think that's what this band program needs. They need cleanliness. They need discipline more than anything. Um, any band, I don't care what band you are. The moment your band starts to like discipline, that's when shit gonna hit the fan and motherfuckers gonna be fucking up and shit gonna sound bad. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's that's band 101. Discipline, sound, and then nigga shit. Don't go nigga shit. No discipline. And try to talk about you sound good. Because I guarantee you, you're not gonna sound good with nigga shit as your first thing. Okay? So, yeah, man. Um, like I said, good arrangement. The band sounds good. Can't wait to see what happens this year. They get in the foot. It look like they get in the football field, which means a football team. Now, what conference they gonna be in? I don't know. But a lot of the shit talk. I wonder what's gonna happen to all the shit talk. Them not having a football team. Where's that gonna? What's what's gonna be the next complaint? Cause with Diggs, it's always something. You sound hard, but you sound like a high school band. You ain't got a football team. What's gonna be next? They basketball team win championships. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get your excuses ready now. Because the field's being built. The foundation's already laid. It's there. It, it's fucking official. So get your excuses together now. Whatever it may be, get your excuses together now. Because Diga is making history. They're not playing. They turning that motherfucker into a university. Y'all can say what y'all want. They turning that school into a university. That bitch gonna go from Teledega College to Teledega University. And motherfuckers gonna be like, well, goddamn. And I'm gonna be sitting there like, what y'all got to say now? They in your conference. They on your ass. They ain't playing. But all right, man. Y'all stay healthy. Y'all stay hydrated. It's hot as hell outside. And above all else, stay triumphant. Peace.